If the royal standard flies from the palace, it means the Queen is at home. But ahead of this afternoon's garden party, repairs or maintenance were being carried out on the fence, which tops one of the lowest sections of wall around the gardens of Buckingham Palace. This is the Queen yesterday on her way to the state opening of Parliament. Later that night, just after half past eight, police were alerted that an intruder had got over the wall and it took seven minutes to find him. Well, you can see the height of the wall here and with the barbed wire and the spikes, it's difficult to get over, but not impossible. The head of royalty protection at Scotland Yard has said he's content that the security measures here worked effectively and at no time was any individual at risk. But there will be a post-mortem and I'm sure that delay time of seven minutes will be discussed. Police say the intruder was unarmed and a 41-year-old man is under arrest. He isn't the first, of course. Last November, two fathers' rights activists got onto the roof just a fortnight after the terrorist attacks in Paris. In 2004, it was a similar protest, but it lasted longer and was in fancy dress. But the infamous break-in was back in 1982 by Michael Fagan. He managed to wander around the palace before waking the Queen in her bedroom. She was not hurt. While the Army's Household Division provides the ceremonial guard, it's actually Scotland Yard which is charged with the security operation. A former royal bodyguard told me he sympathises, but the seven-minute delay is unacceptable. Well, seven minutes to respond to uh, an, an incursion is regrettably horrendous. You know, it's a huge ground, I accept that. And once you drop over this wall, you drop down at this time of the year into a very heavy, herbaceous border. Very difficult to find somebody unless you've got on hand a dog handler or there are static officers nearby. You then, from that control room, have to respond to that call. Now, in that intervening period, that person can track anywhere. The view from behind palace walls is that making those walls higher is not the answer. Permanent patrols of the garden have also been resisted by the royals, but after the latest alert, that option must now be back on the table. Simon Viger, 5 News.